Hey, what's up, boys? It's Bye Bye here. So, um, there is something that uh, I need to do uh, to prepare for my uh, season two KV guy, right? And that one thing I need to do is I need to uh, dismantle two of my uh, lucky coins. All right. So uh, a lot of you guys might be wondering like why I want to dismantle my two lucky coins. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you guys the story of like why did I craft three lucky coins? Okay. So originally, I only craft I only crafted one lucky coin. Okay. But uh, uh, because I didn't get special talent. Okay. And then the time come when the when Lilith tried to do the like the new equipment up, update system. Uh, where they going to introduce a new refinement system, which is what we have right now. Uh, I know that I'm gonna have a much much lower chance of getting special talent. So I went ahead and craft two more lucky coins so that I can get a special talent lucky coin, which I did. Um, and I also have that on my live stream as well. So I had three lucky coins, right? One special talent and two normal, uh, with no special talent. Um, so like one of the reasons I didn't dismantle my lucky coins before is because I don't want to lose out on the materials, right? And I know for the fact that each item have its own pro and cons. And as long as you know how to use them on the right commanders, it can work. So that is the reason why I I keep the two lucky coins here. And I was I was using them on my XY and my Omanitor in my last KVK in Scene of Conquest, right? And they did pretty well. Um, so like, why did I why did I want to dismantle them now, right? So first of all, you gotta understand that I cannot use any of the Scene of Conquest accessory in KVK Season Two, right? So the two lucky coins I have right here cannot be used. In KVK season two, I mean like all of Z4 item, right? Three lucky coins plus the Horn of Fury here. Uh, but let's talk about the two lucky coins here, right? So I cannot use the two lucky coins in my KVK season two or season three, okay? So it's like a four or five months from now, right? So four or five months from now, Z2 items gonna be sitting here collecting dust, okay? So that is not a good use for my item right there. Right, so that is reason number one is that I cannot use them right now, and I have to wait four or five months. And you never know, right? I might not even able to play the game four or five months from now. You never know. I might try on a different game. You never know, right? Um, so that is the reason number one for why I want to dismantle these two lucky coins. Um, the reason the reason number two, uh, I would say, but as I mentioned, right, uh, each each accessory can works depend on situation um and i would say the two lucky coins serve me pretty well on my xy and on my manitor but there is um it's they affect they affect on how i play the game uh because you as i mentioned before in my other videos where i talk about the accessory item there are two types of accessory passive uh items and active item right so lucky coins are considered passive item because you have to wait for the enemy to attack you or you have to get yourself swarm in order for you to get uh maximize on the benefit of it right and it affect on how i play in season of conquest kvk right and a lot of time i play very very aggressively because i know i have my lucky coins on my commander so like okay let, let the enemy swarm my marches but like for like a someone like a, like myself who not willing to spend a lot of money on the crystal tech, uh, or not spending um, or I or, or like don't have very very high research. Let's put it out there. Like and for me to play aggressively, it just doesn't work. To be honest with you guys, so like the lucky coins can work well on like big mega spender when they can afford to have a lot of resources. They can afford the healing cost, the healing speed up. Yes, right. They can play very aggressively. But for myself, right, the lucky coins. When I use the lucky coins, I am forcing myself to play a little bit more aggressive, uh, so that the enemy got swarm me down, right. Uh, and I think it's it might not work out, right. Um, in the future. So I do want to change 
on how I will be play in the future. Let's see if I'm gonna go back to Season of Conquest again. Uh, another thing is that I, I still can't tell that I'll be going back to Season of Conquest or not. So I have to wait until I finish my Season 2 KVK and Season 3 KVK before I decide, right? Um, so that is the reason, the reason number two is that the two lucky coins, the two additional, the two additional lucky coins right here, kind of like forcing me to play a little bit too aggressive in Seed of Conquest KVK. And it, it's not a good idea for like a free to play or very, very low spender players to play super aggressive in that KVK. So that is one of the reasons why I like, okay, uh, let's get rid of the, the two coins and Maybe we can we can use them on something else that I can actually use in season two KVK. So the one thing is that uh, Lilith did mention that they got introduce a new update where you can use two of the accessory, or two of the Seed of Conquest accessory in KVK season two, right? And season three, they introducing the concealed daggers and another item I can't remember. Um, so that is one thing I, I can get. I, I can try to get the item as well. I, I can try to get one concealed daggers. Maybe, uh, but as of right now, I don't have uh, any plan to get a concealed dagger just yet, yet. Um, I might if I go back to season of conquest, I might get another Hunter Fury or another uh, or my first Ring of Doom, right? So that is my plan. So as of right now, right, I'm gonna be dismantling two of the lucky coins here, and I want to use the materials I get from dismantling the item to craft something else that I can use in. My CN2 KBK. Right, so let's go ahead here and uh, dismantle the um, lucky coin here. 50% of materials back only, unfortunately, but uh, we, we, we gotta do what we have to do here. Oh my goodness. All right, my second password gotta be here. I hope I got it correctly here. Woo! Oh my god. Okay. All right, time to dismantle. Dismantling complete, one lucky coin. Uh, I want to dismantle another one, okay? So let's dismantle another lucky coin here. Uh, two, luck, two lucky coin could be dismantled here. Uh, so here we go. All right, second one. So two lucky coins are gone. Let's go and craft one of the items that I can use in, um, in CN2 KVK. I need another Shield Eternal Empire here. So let's hope I get a special talent for dismantling two lucky coins, guy. Let's go right into it here and craft it. Let's go! Oh, man. Dismantling two lucky coins and no special talent. I really, Lilith? Man, I feel like the, the, the special talent rate is so shit right now. Like, I've been crafting a whole bunch of items with no special talent lately. Um, school Lilith is all I have to say. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so I'll be using the um, weapon on my uh, Constantine because it's gonna be completing two of my my two set pieces, right? So with the weapon now, I'm getting that extra three percent defense and a slightly more attack compared to um, compared to that uh, Sakura Fubuki, okay? And I'm gonna be using that uh, Sakura Fubuki on my Rickshaw here, right? So that is the some of the items that I need. Uh, for season 2 KVK, uh, I wonder if I can craft something else. I might be able to craft one of the archer, archer glove here. But um, I want to um, I want to get four pieces. Of, I want to get so right now. Uh, my charm hotel have four piece set for legendary. Right, I'm getting that 10% my speed increase. Uh, I do want to get two more piece of uh, legendary equipment for set for infantry so that I can get another four piece set. I want that actual my speed bonus, to be honest. I just love to have more mobility on my infantry commanders. So maybe I'm gonna hold off on crafting an archer and maybe going for one more infantry glove and one more infantry boots. Uh so probably gonna have to spend some more gems to get more like blueprint fragments uh to combine for the uh, item here so that I can craft them. Oh, this one is a uh, cavalry. Uh, this is only infantry here. So probably want uh, probably want to uh, focus on getting two more, um, two more of the uh, of blueprint here, right? One for the boots and one for the glove for infantry, so that I can get another four piece set. Um, 
on my um i think my right now my yg have a two piece of legendary already a two piece of archer here right i might consider getting two more piece for archer as well uh cavalry right i have a two piece of cavalry as well um i might also consider getting two more piece for cavalry maybe or maybe not i i don't think i i am very um i don't think i'm in i i, I i'm not I'm not 100% like a big fan of getting two more pieces for cavalry. Let me looking at my cavalry gear here. I don't want to get the weapon. Uh, I got the helmet already. I might get the, the chest. Uh, and the glove. Okay. So I can get the chest and the glove as well. Uh, and I'll get that uh, extra counter attack damage plus 3%. 11% uh, health increase and 7.5% defense increase. Is that gonna be like a big upgrade right there for my cavalry or no? So I got a 10.5% defense here already and 7%. Okay, well, I can definitely get the glove. I can def I can definitely get the glove and the and the chest, I guess. Uh anyway guys, right? Um just wanna make a quick video to show you guys um how the dismantling process is for dismantling legendary equipment and probably it Try to explain to you guys the reason why I, I want to dismantle my two lucky coins, right? Uh, I am still keeping um I am still keeping uh, the other lucky coins and I still keeping the other lucky coin and the Honor Fury here, right? Um I don't want to dismantle the Honor Fury because it does cost me a lot of like uh, season of conquest coin to buy the blueprints and I I, I, I would love to keep them. Uh and it's also like an active item, right? It's not like a passive item like the lucky coins. Uh, the skull of lucky coin here. I will I will definitely be using it on my grand all the time. So I'll I will not be <laughs> dismantling it hundred percent here. Uh, but I I will probably try to craft another um accessory, like legendary accessory. Uh, when it comes to uh, say season of conquest, uh, legendary accessory, or I might try to craft um uh concealed daggers. I might. Depend, okay. But as of right now, uh, this is what I have right now. Uh, in terms of uh, legendary equipment. Uh, in case you guys want to know what I have right now, so I have a four piece infantry set plus another two piece of infantry set. Um, I got two piece archer set and I got a two piece cavalry set. I got two hope cloak. I got one of the uh, ash of dawn, which is non set items, right. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering what kind of item do I have, right? It might give you a, a, an idea there. Uh, can I get a set piece here? Nope, this one is trash. Uh, so no reason to keeping it there. I might want to get more of the item. Oh, this one I can get. Um, I can get the the chest, the chest piece for cavalry, right? Yeah, I can get the chest. I can get the chest piece for cavalry here, right? In the future, right? If I need to craft it. Uh, anyway, guys, right? I hope you guys enjoy the videos and. If you guys have any other question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.